Here we are. <laughs> Here we are. Dr. Scott Mitchell. He's also my chiropractor, but also he is just exploring a new way mm -hmm. in health that blew my mind. So do you have trouble sleeping? Do you snore? Do you potentially have a deviated septum? What other mm -hmm. things do people come here do for, for this particular procedure? Do you sleep with a CPAP machine? Do you have trouble draining? Do you have a lot of like sinus pressures and headaches? Mm -hmm. uh, do you have trouble hearing? You know, do you feel like, like something's just like stopped up in there? I mean, pretty much anything involved in the skull. Right. Yeah. So if you do, looking at CFR, which mm. is cranial, cranial facial release. Cranial facial release. Yes. That's right. No, I know. I'm just yeah. learning about this. Yes. So welcome. Yes. Learn with me. Mm -hmm. um, cranial facial release, yes. which is very interesting. I did this procedure and mm -hmm. it takes four different, um, you know, visits to come in to really mm -hmm. just uh, release some of those restrictions totally. in your nasal passages. Mm -hmm. And so um, it's been really amazing. Not that I experienced any one of those where I had yes. any trouble, you know, sleeping or whatever, but I'm always one for, oh, let me come in here because I want to see how much better I can feel if there's something yep. that could release restriction mm -hmm. or inflammation or things like that. Mm -hmm. So do you want to tell us a little bit about what CFR is? So basically what you're doing is you're inserting a small balloon into the nasopharynx. The nasopharynx is the opening in your nose that goes between, <laughs> yeah, between your there. nostrils, yeah. <laughs> between your nostrils and your throat. Okay. And it's where air travels to go from your nose down into your lungs. And when we put the balloon inside there, we then inflate it and deflate it almost immediately, about three to five seconds or so, as a way to help physically open that area up so much more. Sure. So when you get this procedure done, you can breathe so much better through your nose. It also starts to release any sort of adhesions or restrictions you might have within your sutures. Mm. Sutures are, if you see on this guy. They're not stitches. Yes, yeah, sutures, not stitches. Sutures are what connect your cranial bones together and they're actually supposed to be movable joints. Not movable to the extent of like your arm opening and closing like this, but they do move very, very, very slightly, mainly with your breathing. And it's basically like a pump to allow cerebral spinal fluid to flow mm -hmm. to and from the brain, mm -hmm. which is basically the, the fluid that encodes your entire nervous system and provides mm -hmm. nutrients to it. In Latin, I think it was Latin. In Latin, it means liquid light. Mm. It's very important. Cool, yeah. It also helps with Let lymphatic. The light in. Yeah, you need it. I know, yeah. And then lymphatic drainage. Mm -hmm. So basically help get rid of different toxins. And then obviously just um, overall flow of your circulation, your blood flow too. Right. So when you get this done, it literally expands. Obviously not to this extent. Sure. But it expands and then contracts and allows any restricted areas or any overlapping areas to become released and actually allows the flow to be so much better. So interesting. I didn't think of, you know, your sort of like cranial plates, I guess, would you call them to yeah, be? Cranial bones, cranial plates, yeah, sure. Need to like sort of breathe, mm -hmm. right, in mm -hmm. ways and just have these sort of micro movements like your joints do, right? Not exactly. to that extent, as you mentioned, but it makes so much sense with the fluid and all these things. Mm -hmm. So what can one expect out of this journey? I know that, you know, you'll see probably in some of my stories and reels about like my experience with it, but everybody experiences it differently from mm -hmm. a, like it seems intimidating, does it hurt? Or does <laughs> it like yeah. cause anything else? What yeah. can people expect? So one of the things I do though, is before anyone comes in, I always go over a 10 minute phone consultation okay. as a way to first answer any of your questions, hear what's going on, make mm -hmm. sure you're a good candidate for this, all that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, because I really want to have you hear from me mm -hmm. about the procedure, mm -hmm. not like some of my staff or like a salesperson or anything like that. Like it's yeah. me that's answering the phone. Sure. So when you come in, four different visits, I explain everything that's going on. We have the stuffed animal elephant over here to, you know, make sure you keep your hands down and to kind of keep you. His name is Ernie. Keep Ernie, talking. Ernie the elephant yeah. as a way to just make you feel more at home, more relaxed and just easier. And when we do the procedure, you know, it, it's, it's pretty quick and easy. I've gotten a really good hang of it where I got a good touch where it's not as intense mm -hmm. as some videos you might see online. Mm -hmm. And I've done this so many times now that I've gotten really good at it. Yeah. I can't do it to myself yet. So, yeah. but for other people, yeah. it's, it is a lot of pressure, mm -hmm. but the pressure lasts about three to five seconds. Yeah. Once that balloon deflates, it's over. Yeah. Versus, you know, if you get surgeries, doesn't matter if it's just a nose surgery or if it's another surgery, surgery's permanent. Yeah. You know, there's, it's difficult to recover from a surgery that's either not needed or a bad surgery. Yeah, you can't undo it. Really. Can't undo a surgery. <laughs> so taking a less or a non-invasive route first 
is, in my opinion, always better than yeah. just jumping straight to the most invasive thing. Right. I mean, I guess technically you could kind of make a situation that has already been done better. There's always that. So I've had never think plenty, that just because yeah. you had surgery, like life's over. It's not. Yeah, we've had a lot of patients that have had the deviated septum surgery, sometimes mm -hmm. even twice, and they get the procedure done and they still um, have benefits. So okay, to, great. So even if you've had no surgery or anything like that, yeah. or you've been told that you need surgery, right. get this done yeah. as a way to either recover better from the surgery you had mm -hmm. or enhance the surgery that you had if it turned out really good cool. or help prevent surgery. Okay, other. great. How yeah. often are yeah. you um, applying this procedure to others? Most, yeah, yeah, yeah. Most people come in just for those four sessions and they might come back like mm -hmm. every like six months or 12 months just to get those restricted areas done again. Yeah. But we've been getting people calling left and right. I probably yeah. get a phone call every day and then a new patient getting this done maybe like three or four four a yeah. week and people are actually flying in to see you yeah, yeah, yeah. right because mm -hmm. now there's also i've heard some like i guess testimonials and responses that like oh my gosh they didn't need to go through with that deviated septum surgery yep. or you know their snoring has uh I don't know if you want to say healed or resolved itself yeah, or whatever. Um, and so these are also the things too, is I love to look for um, sort of just practices that are more proactive. I guess it could be reactive too, but in ways where uh, you don't have to have such invasive yes. surgeries or work mm. because anytime that you go down that path, you open up a little bit, you're, you're a little bit more vulnerable to mm -hmm. a lot of different things. And so um, this has also been great for people um, to avoiding, surgery. avoiding these types of surgeries. Yeah. Not everybody, but mm -hmm. let's talk mm -hmm. a little bit about what your what your patients are saying. Yeah, so I mean, lots of testimonials are on the website too. We actually stopped yeah. doing testimonials because I don't like to edit them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drop a link down below yeah. so that you guys can check out testimonials and also a link down below as to just the to website. find more, yeah, stuff, your yeah. website is to find more about CFR and it's mm -hmm. limitlesschiropractic.com yep. or is there a... Limitless Cairo ATX. Okay, okay. Cairo ATX. Again, I'll drop it down. Not yep. everybody can remember that, but go ahead. Tell yeah. us about the testimonials. Yeah, so some of the people have noticed that, you know, number one thing is that they just breathe better through their nose mm -hmm. and that their sleeping improves. So we're trying to help a lot of people avoid surgeries, mainly deviated septum surgeries, because a lot of times that's not the actual source of the issue. Mm -hmm. It's a restrictive issue. Mm -hmm. um, people that are going in for like sinus issues or believing they have sinus issues when in reality, this helps with the drainage process. Mm. So instead of spending thousands and thousands of dollars on a procedure that you don't actually need mm -hmm. or that's just more invasive, this is a procedure that people are trying out first because they're gonna benefit from it regardless. Yeah. And a lot of times it does help a lot with their symptoms. Right. I was telling you before, just really briefly, you'll see like in the testimonials, but a patient that was having a lot of lymphatic lumps mm -hmm. that couldn't go away with different massages or with medications. And when you got this procedure done, finally all the lymph started to drain more. Wow, so, so anybody kind of with potential lymphatic drainage issues mm -hmm. or challenges, would, this would be helpful. Yep, because I mean, yeah, you gotta be able to, you know, drain out your lymph from your skull, not just the rest of your body. Right. Uh, one of my patients is deaf and wears a hearing aid. And when he was wearing the hearing aids, he could distinct his wife's voice from his daughter's voice. But then he got COVID like two or three years ago mm. or to like when he got this procedure done. And he said he couldn't distinct their voices anymore. Mm. And he got this procedure done and then could hear like the different, well, couldn't hear, yeah. <laughs> he's still deaf. Yeah. But he could still be able to, or he then was able to distinct his uh, wife's voice from his daughter's voice. Sure. So it's little things that you wouldn't even think of because we're going into the nose and opening it up. Yeah. But people start to notice those dramatic changes. Yeah. But sleeping is definitely the number one thing where Patients actually track their sleep on their watches yeah. and they see a dramatic difference. Yeah, and if you do anything in life, it's just <laughs> really focus on quality sleep because mm -hmm. the rest of your life is going to just be easier and you'll just, again, it's like when you sleep, this is where you regenerate, this is where you mm -hmm. restore, this is where you recover, and this mm -hmm. is where the magic happens. It's not necessarily in the gym when you're doing the reps, right? It's when you're at rest from the yeah. day of reps. Yeah. And so this is sort of a breathing rep, right? Mm -hmm. If you will, mm -hmm. where it's like, we're practicing our breathing. Mm -hmm. How does one even get a restrictive nasal passage, mm -hmm. right? I know mm -hmm. that I've been learning a lot about just air in general, because this is all a part of holistic health. And, you know, it's not just the food and exercise, right? It's mm -hmm. everything that we're surrounded in. and. Mm -hmm. 
um, I've just been sort of leaning into what it looks like to live in the modern world, right? Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of living, playing, breathing, eating, stuff like that, like yeah. our ancestors, but we can't, we don't breathe the same air. We're not outside mm -hmm. all the time. We're in these homes, yeah, yeah. you know, toxins build up. And if we're not purifying the air properly, we they, they stay sort of stale in the environment and mm -hmm. the particular matter, and we're breathing that in. Um, so how does one, again, and re have these restrictions yeah. in the nasal passage, not only from pollutants, but maybe inflammation or mm -hmm. what other things? Yeah, it can come from a variety of different things. Sometimes it's just the way that you're born. You know, everyone, sure. I mean, no one's perfect. No one's bones are exactly the same. Mm -hmm. There can be some anomalies between the way that this bone forms versus this one versus this one that are just slightly off that mm -hmm. can start to create some sort of restrictions and compensations. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Another thing too is it's injury, you know? Sure. So what really got me interested in this procedure is when I was in middle school, I got hit in the face really hard during a basketball game and broke my face right here. And it healed just because injuries heal. But what I didn't realize is that it healed incorrectly and I wasn't able to breathe out of the left top left side of my nose mm -hmm. as much as I did before the injury. Mm -hmm. So when I got this procedure done, uh, we go pretty hard as chiropractors because sure. we, like, we like to see where that boundary is yeah. as a way to let you know this is perfectly safe. Yeah. Yes. So my mentor, Dr. Adam Del Torto, he's the one that created this technique 20, 25 years ago. He's the one that I learned from and he did this procedure to me where he went into the top left and pumped and pumped and pumped and he did about eight pumps what? until eight it was crazy i felt like my eyeballs were gonna pop out again no yeah. pain just a lot of pressure yeah and i felt a huge crack in my face where i broke it when i was a kid yes and then a little bit of a bloody nose mm -hmm. but for like you know, a minute or two and just right. like a little bit okay but then after the blood went away i could finally breathe mm -hmm. out of the left side of my face okay so, so the, that's more of an extreme though case too so these sort of procedures mm -hmm. don't really have that yeah it's, it's more yeah it's more common than you think if mm -hmm. you had a broken nose um you'll notice sure. too like any injuries to the face they're going to heal right and when you get this procedure done a lot of times it breaks up different adhesions right most people don't have a bloody nose but sometimes sure. you can have a little bit of blood mm -hmm. Most common is only a little bit of blood if someone does like a lot of nasal sprays mm -hmm. because it just creates a lot of um, uh, like damage to the actual skin that's inside the nose, sure. the turbinates and whatnot. I can only think of it like stripping too. It's like, have you heard of those people who are like actually addicted to the nasal sprays? Oh yeah, yeah. they come in here, they just <laughs> they, need it because it's yeah. the only thing that decreases the inflammation to mm -hmm. allow sure. them to breathe. And as humans, we were breathing since the day we're born. Right. So we are addicted to breathing. Yes. So if you can breathe better, you want to do whatever you can to continue to breathe so much better and this is one of those things yeah and it's what you do consciously and unconsciously mm -hmm. and it's the only thing that's keeping you alive at night and there's a lot of regeneration restorative happenings that happen yes. um, in the evening so it's very important to get a good night's sleep i mean from multiple different aspects not only like breathing and what are you breathing in are you breathing in enough are you nose breathing and then as well as getting an actual restful night's sleep mm -hmm. so that you can be holistically healthy and move through the world mm -hmm. so let me ask you a question did you go to Mm, sort of, I don't want to say a basic doctor or Western med doctor for this. I didn't know it was before. a thing. So well, I was like, I was like you. But did you go and were oh. you like, help me? And maybe they suggested something else or you just didn't even think about it? I grew up in Boston. Out. So my, my dad put some ice on it and said, you'll be okay. Yeah. Can you hear his accent? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it was more like just put some ice on it, let it heal. Mm -hmm. And then it healed. Mm -hmm. But I didn't realize that it healed with some restrictions involved. And that yeah. started to affect my breathing. Yeah. So when I got it done, yeah. it just, you know, it just, uh, changed completely the way that I breathed through my nose. How long ago did you get that done? About a year and a half now. Okay. About cool. a year and a half, and it was yeah. by the doctor when I was actually learning this mm -hmm. procedure too. Yeah. And I was like, all right, I'm, I'm in. This is this is pretty amazing. How frequently do you get it done? Or so this was a one and done. Where I got okay. it done, yep. I definitely want it more, mm -hmm. but unfortunately, there's not a lot of doctors that do this. Sure. So I'd have to go fly to him in order to go get it done. Sure. Because uh, I also want to go to someone that does this on a regular basis right. and that knows what the hell they're doing right. not just someone that you know has seen a video and they just tried doing it like that's not what i want in my life. so i had four sessions with you right mm -hmm. so i've kind mm -hmm. of complete the um four session the regimen yeah the yeah. structure right mm -hmm. and what's side note too i came in 
the other day as well for my third one yeah. after right when I got back from traveling and I absolutely loved it because traveling does create some inflammation in the air totally. and then restrictive because you're just breathing in this recycled air and all crap this other that's on the airplane. crap yeah, yeah. and then not mm -hmm. to mention you know it's a little stressful too so there's a lot of um not deep nose breathing if you will so yep, I feel yep. like you know it, it is restrictive and so it felt really good I noticed probably the bigger the biggest difference on my third, third visit one. because of um where I've come from right yeah, yeah. with the travel the intense travel so mm -hmm. and then also being at altitude and I was in Montana and so that mm -hmm. kind of like mm -hmm. was it was just interesting to feel. Yeah. yeah so um so now I had my fourth session mm -hmm. so now what can I do to just sort of be more mindful like almost like for mm -hmm. chiropractic work right yeah. which you do which I absolutely love and mm -hmm. um he always just kind of fixes me after ski intense yes, skiing, skiing yeah. and kickboxing and all these things I'm like can you just help adjust <laughs> me for all the fluid yumminess yeah. that goes through my body mm -hmm. but um like you would suggest for chiropractic work whether that be some mm -hmm. you know certain poses postural movements yep. or even you know yoga and breathing meditation what would you suggest as a take home? Yeah, well, number one is definitely just the awareness aspect. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people when they're under stress, they do that rapid, yeah. shallow chest breathing through their mouth. So just being aware of catching yourself during those moments mm -hmm. and just practicing to breathe out of your nose or in and out of your nose mm -hmm. and keeping your shoulders down. So mm -hmm. awareness is definitely gonna be number one. Mm -hmm. Number two is you can even take it a step further when you go to bed, you know, you can wear like nasal strips to help open up your nostrils more sure. now that your nasal pharynx or that area in here is a lot more open. Yeah. Uh, you can wear mouth tape as, again, right. a way to help train your brain to breathe more through your nose while you're sleeping. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, you sleep about, like, one-third of your life on yeah. average, one-third to one-fourth. And if you can do that while breathing through your nose, mm -hmm. you're just filtering all the toxins out of the air mm -hmm. and, you know, basically keeping your body healthier mm -hmm. versus breathing through your mouth for one third or one fourth of your life while you're sleeping and just getting all those different toxins into your into your lungs and mm. into your body. Well, so it's also good to too. have an air purifier. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to also link that down below yeah. too just because this makes sense. Like if you want to, you know, just purify essentially. Like there's no, like I'm not here striving to be perfect. I'm not here mm -hmm. to say like you have to do all these different protocols every day of your life. But um, again, living in the modern world where we do kind of live in a toxic bubble yep. and not necessarily just meaning like air pollutants or all these particles in the mm -hmm. air or, you know, plastics and, uh, you know, meat things. meat glue now. It's crazy. Oh, but <laughs> yeah, crazy. Me? Well, it's They're putting glue stupid. in meat now. Anyways, yes, there's those toxins, but... Um, just the sort of other toxins that you don't think about, whether it's social media um, and whether it's just stress in life. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's a great way to um, just kind of purify mm -hmm. because the modern world was not what we used to live mm -hmm. in. And so this is why we didn't really like have these certain modalities to feel mm -hmm. like we needed to cycle in our lives. So just do it at a steady pace. Don't stress yourself out because then yeah. it'll actually make things worse and it, it will and defeat the purpose. Stress yeah. and inflammation are the cause of like 99% of symptoms that can be experienced. So if you yeah. can limit stress and inflammation, so many things will start to change. Right. Another thing regarding too, like breathing better is literally C3, 4, and 5 keep the diaphragm alive. Mm. Or basically the nerves that come right out of the neck are the ones that control the diaphragm. It's called the phrenic nerve. So even just staying in alignment mm -hmm. allows your diaphragm to work so much better so you can breathe so much better. Mm. So there's a lot of different things you can do on top of CFR to breathe better or just enhance right. the quality of your breathing. Mm. Obviously, breathing through your nose is number one and do whatever you can to help facilitate that's gonna be the best. That's awesome. So yeah, if you wanna give it a go, go ahead and try. There's other things too. What about that book, Breathe, over here too? Breathe. So if you're interested and you're still like, ah, I don't know, start learning more about breath work, what that means for you, for your body, for your health, for your wellness, you know, because sometimes going to the gym six, seven days a week and, you know, eating right isn't just like, everybody has a different regimen and I think mm -hmm. you need to do what works for you. And so sometimes people lean more into breathing or more into meditation than just, you know, harder lifts in the gym. Mm -hmm. So find out what works for you. And if breathing resonates with you, start by reading that book. And I'll put another link down below for that book. Yeah. And also like, just explore more on his website, CFR, mm -hmm. and explore these uh, topics. And then reach out to him, get a consultation of questions. Yeah, it will be There's... me answering the phone and talking yeah. to you. It's not going to be someone else. It's literally me because I yeah. like to 
hear what's going on and actually explain what's uh, what who wouldn't want like. this guy yeah. to, 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 to chat to right mm -hmm. um, he's he is very I can affirm that he is gentle with mm -hmm. his procedure I mean because he's my chiropractor and that's actually why I even agreed to try yeah, this yeah, in yeah. the yeah. first place mm -hmm. is because it was like all right you got a gentle and firm touch <laughs> I'm good with this yeah, let's yeah. go for it mm -hmm. um, and obviously very uh, intuitive with his patients as well as kind and you're just you know i think you you do a really good job of making us feel comfortable and creating yeah. a safe space so and that's important too because i mean this is any experience if you just have like that you know, negative energy or negative experience it could be the best adjustment it could be the best massage it could be sure. the best food but if you've had a bad experience with it it sure. can linger yeah you know? so don't just go out there and just be like ah cfr down the road still do your research on who yeah. you get it from and mm -hmm. um that will be kind of the first step so yeah so honestly cool. if any of you guys are ever interested in learning a little bit more just reach out again free 10 minute phone consultation i'll talk mm -hmm. to anyone we see people that fly in traveling from afar we have people that are local to austin yeah we see anyone that that needs this procedure done and it's yeah. It's really fun and really rewarding. It is weird. I'm a normal guy, and yeah. I understand that this is a very weird procedure. Yeah, you have yeah. a balloon in your nose, and like it's, I'm, I'm normal. It's weird. Yeah, yeah. But I just do it because it gets great results and can really change someone's life. Right. No, mm -hmm. I mean I'm I'm breathing better. I feel like yeah. I just have like, <laughs> there's a sense of calmness. So even if it is just watching this video and you feel like calm already, great. That's great yeah. for start. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for joining us. This is Dr. Scott. He does CFR, yes. cranial, facial, facial release, release yes, procedures. And also, if you're in Austin, Texas, and want to come get your spine adjusted. Get aligned. He's your man. Mm -hmm. See you next time.